Hello friends, I'm Moon and today I'll be sharing my experience of using Dataserve for a week. I'll share the good things I liked about the browser along with the difficulties I faced along the way and the solutions I came up with. So, let's get started. You know, this week I was in a hurry and the work was too much for me alone. And in that hard time, Dataserve was like a personal assistant, a helper, a planner, a writer, a scripter and to be honest, so much more. So, my whole process starts with Dataserve. I created a note, added my YouTube channel and a few other Linux news sites and asked to give me trendy and evergreen ideas which would work well on my channel and it will use new sites to see what is new in the world of Linux along with what's new and already working for my own channel. And it also went through all your comments to find ideas and I was really satisfied with the result. I got 5 amazing ideas which I've never created a video about and it saved me a hell lot of time. And that's not all. After creating the videos, my last content creation step is packaging, in which I create thumbnails, titles, descriptions, and find tags and SEOs for my YouTube videos. And there, Dataserve has been a great help. It can grab data from other YouTube videos, my studio, and so many other websites so that I can get the best working packaging format for my YouTube channel. Dataserve can grab data from other YouTube videos, my own YouTube studio and so many other news sites or SEO sites so that I can get the best working packaging format and SEO stuff for my YouTube videos. And that is how Dataserve helped me to get through my hardest week of the month where I had to travel to other cities and now it is time to show you Dataserve and the things I like about it, the difficulties I faced and the solutions I came up with. So let's go. So this is Dataserve for me and you might call it a desktop but it is a contextual workspace aka context and yeah you have multiple contexts I have a learning one as well but I have to customize it later but right now let's get to the main part. So what I love the most is the overall design the aesthetic and how it looks and works flawlessly. As you see I set a wallpaper here along with that I have these tiles of my most important web pages and websites. And yeah, I've just placed an inspirational image here, which, you know, you can drag and drop here, but I like it there. Now you have two options for the tabs. I've chosen the vertical format, but you can also go on with the horizontal one. Just go to view, change tabs orientation, and there it is. But I like it in vertical format. Then leaving that, the next thing I love the most about it is the notes. Well, to be honest, the whole browser's ability to use multiple websites data. For example, this is a note, a document. Let's say, give me 10 comments of my audience from YouTube Studio idea. Now, it will actually go through a few of my tabs, which is my YouTube Studio comments, along with, you know, my own YouTube channel. And it will cross-reference that what are the video ideas you guys have shared in the comments section and have I created a video about them or not. Now, I'll just ask it to do everything and Dataserve will be able to do it. There they are. Yep, it is damn good. I have 10 video ideas which are from you guys from the comment section. I do, it is also suggesting me how to use these as well. Like these are from the latest comments of you guys. If we go to the community section, you can see it analyzed all of these comments and then grabbed the data and cross-referenced with my YouTube channels all the videos. Can you imagine? This browser is capable of that and I'm just scratching the surface. I have to learn a lot about Dataserve in order to properly use the full power, the full potential of this browser. And then there's another thing which I like the most about. For example, let's say I see something pretty interesting. For example, let's say I don't know what Hyperland is or let's go on with a, lo a little more in detail. I want to know what Pika OS is and particularly I'd like to know is this operating system good for me and for my workflow, my content creation or not. So I can just ask this context, well ask this tab. So this is the website and I can just ask, tell me in short about Pika OS. Yep, just like that. There we go. And it is going through all the data of this website in particularly and this is it. It's a gaming focused Linux distribution based on Debian with high performance tuned, 
high compatibility and it has multiple editions so let me just ask like which edition is the most beautiful yep now you know this information is not hit written in the website so let's see if it will be able to do it or not now what will it do well now it used the power of internet now it is giving me a detailed description of each desktop and the beauty of linux desktop is subjective now that's a good line gnome is clean modern and minimal kde is highly customizable and visually rich hyperlan and neri are cutting edge variant compositors offers sleek aesthetics smooth rendering and dynamic layouts now the most beautiful kde is widely praised for its eye candy flexible and modern look ideal for those whose values styles and customizable desktop if you prefer minimalism which you know i do gnome is a close contender try them live and judge them yourself now let me ask which is good for my let's say i have a very low end pc with 4 gb ram and i3 5th gen let's see oh ask and now preparing the magic there we go for a pc with 4 gb ram it's best to choose a lightweight desktop like hyperland and neri and avoid kde and gnome variant unless you can upgrade the ram yep this is nice and it is also telling me that gone with a standard iso not with the nvidia iso let me see like i have a 15 year old nvidia gpu now this is a tricky question because the nvidia isos only support 1650 or the latest versions so let's see if it can do it or not and there it is use the standard iso not the nvidia one because a 15 year old gpu model is going to be really really old now let me just ask compare this os with fedora now for this it has to go on to the internet and grab the data compare what's good what's not and everything else charging the knowledge battery now let's see the magic of data serve let me just increase this okay yep now it's a little better so this is actually me creating a comparison it's a really nice comparison and this is another thing which i like the most about you see this is indeed the power of data serve it is so much powerful and using it in my everyday life specifically for content creation and learning is really nice and another thing which i like the most about data surf especially as a linux user is that all the data of this browser is saved locally and now it is time to show what is the bad and difficulties i faced in the browser now it's not particularly bad so now the thing is i cannot directly change my wallpaper here i can only remove it just like that in order to set a, an image you cannot also you know go to website open a wallpaper and set it up as your background you cannot do that for that you're going to need to download the image then go there and go to the file import the file or you can also will download the image and it will directly go to your stuff now there you're going to go to library and find the wallpaper just like here and now right click on it well you cannot even right click here you have to go to the stuff find the image and use image as context background this is how you do it and it raises another problem which i faced and it's not a difficulty it's a problem you see when i go to the library the thumbnails of every image is invisible as you can see even on notes some of the notes it's invisible and when i click on the image then it opens but when i sh you know i want to see in the stuff it isn't there these are invisible tiles with no thumbnail or no image preview at all while some websites or most of the websites and everything else has the preview images don't and this also you know it reminds me of another problem let's say i want to download something for example this wallpaper i go to download and download will start here just a minute there it is it is downloading but once it is completely downloaded we can see this download was failed it will not be saved in the file manager or somewhere else it will not be there and this is a problem for that i mostly have to use chrome to download stuff maybe it is a problem of linux because maybe i'm not giving the browser some permissions to access the directory 
most probably this is an issue of linux compatibility and permissions but i've never seen a problem like that in any other application i use and then there is one other problem which i have faced and it's not particularly a problem but a difficulty so let's say i close the browser here and now open the browser again now it will open like this it will not be in full screen like it's a difficulty i face every time i have to just maximize it but yeah i know i'm complaining like a little boy but as you know i'd like to be honest with everything yep these are my petty little difficulties i faced with the browser but when i compare it to all the goodies the powerful stuff in this browser i can easily say datasurf is one of the greatest and most powerful web browsers i've ever seen and the best part is it is multi platform or cross platform it's on windows mac and linux so it actually goes to one of the best applications for linux as well and with that being said and to be honest i'm just scratching the surface of what i can do with data surf there's a lot i can do with it if i properly learn how to use this browser and properly according to my own work and productivity and because of that i'll be using this browser for a whole month and then i'll share my one month review because i've seen what this browser can do and i'd like to go all in let me know in the comments what do you think about it and if you'd like to try data surf the link is in the description and thank you data surf for sponsoring this video and i'll meet you in this video till then i'm on signing out